I want to fluff this up and I'm going to, from my starting point with my clipper, just take all of this bulk and blend it down into the widest part of the shoulder muscle. So I don't really want to be able to see the neck from the front of the dog. I want this to be straight. If you're doing a neck or a crest on a dog and it, it's like a blob, we call it a bread loaf. If it looks like a loaf of bread that's balanced on the dog's neck, keep, keep trimming it on the side. It's important for the leg to be in a natural position because it really does alter the shape of the neck. And I want his head also to be in a natural position. I don't want his head down like this or you know anything. For this side of the neck, I usually use straight chunkers or thinning shears. And for the other side, because the position is a little less comfortable for me, I usually use curved thinners. Um, so I do this side and this side, and then I connect the middle. I wanna look from behind and just make sure that the sides are even, like my shape is similar, and then adjust as necessary. 